be so the high of the delta means like if you have if the delta is just a change in or the difference between two two uh two values so if he has 85 dribbling and you got 95 defense you probably get a better bump uh, about 95 perimeter if somebody got set hey guys it's lj make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy good morning out there in 2k land man check this out man so it all started with a bunch of tweets from that boy mike wong because that boy mike wong been tweet i say that boy mike wong been tweet and if y'all know what time of year it is y'all know that we just got boatloads of information and all of that we're gonna get into all of it in one second man but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment tell your thoughts down below y'all know what we're trying to go with this thing to the moon alice and if nobody told y'all this today how my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all man so check it out man so a bunch of tweets came across the board last night man i really just want hopefully y'all y'all understand how important it is when mike talks because uh, hey mike just like ef hudden man when, look when mike wong talks everybody listens man or you should be listening because they're gonna break out a lot of information that's going to be relevant to the game and just just for the future of the game and how we should be conducting ourselves i think that a lot of people get get a little shook about the game because this is it's always <laughs> Will I be able to do what I was able to do last year? The game must be trash because I can Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. It's not always going to be something that caters to you. Like the like the last couple of years, this year they did cater to defense somewhat, but a lot of times they don't cater to defense. And then we just left hung out to dry as they try to create some type of new offensive system or add something. Then defense, normally we just fall to the wayside and we don't get a chance to really do anything like that now me i'm really trying to up my defensive game man y'all gonna see some stage gameplay i'm trying to get with my boy big boy thunder man and see if we can um you know what I'm saying see, see if we can get together work it out and do some stuff man and just and just i don't know man we're gonna see how we can do that man but anyway the first thing man check it out boom i hit the wrong button man i look man i'm a little i'm a little out of practice man it was the right button but it was the wrong button man hey somebody asked hey man listen uh mike mike had put this out first and uh, it was just the day, the devs joint, man. This is from the devs blog or what have you. And I think this was on uh, this was on uh, uh, Reddit or what have you. But anyway, he, so he just took the screenshots and put them up there. And it just said the question: the signature go-to shots limited to only step backs. What types of shots should we be expecting to see? And he just said there's quite a bit of variety in the signature go-to shots. Some attack the basket, some others, uh, some others are escape side to side, and uh, some end up step back jumpers while others end in end in pull-ups and hezzy pull-ups <laughs> oh the hezzy pull boy i'm gonna show y'all some of all this stuff man you got to get back i don't know if y'all understand it. me me and my partner rice and, and uh my man little t man we used to call it the get back when you 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 drive and then you just hit them with the <laughs> and you pull like that and then you talk about the hezzy pull man when you when you hit them with the oh man it's gonna be this is gonna make for some interesting uh offensive stuff man but anyway step back jumpers like uh darius garland is uh, one of my favorites and remember that there's difficult there's different content based on which hand you're dribbling with or if you're coming out of uh coming out of triple threat so uh, so the uh, so the uh the easy the easy bake oven is gonna be better man he's he tried to call it a macaroni or the brutaroni brutarino man nah, it's the it's the easy uh, anyway so he says hey look so so make sure that you pay attention to that so you got to pay attention to where the ball is and where, what hand it's in since you go to shots also have a different uh, have the, have the benefit of a larger green window and a slightly higher make percentage. They're they're also a useful tool for dribblers to have in their bag as as you can create a lot of interesting combos out of like out of the shot canceling. Now this is something that we did have in NBA 2K16, and a lot of people were thinking like like. The reason that we hated it in 2K16, if you were defending it, is because you they, 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 it was the hop step back then. But they were hop step, and then when they hop step, you could launch in any direction out of it. So, and and, and it was it was it was irritating because they that was when the first time when they created the stamina system for dribbling. But you could circumvent the entire dribbling system, the stamina system, by just uh just hop step and hop step, hop step, hop step. And you didn't even have to be good at it. You also had what it was, normal three between the legs and all that. Man, I ain't gonna lie, it was tough, man. But the czar came back and he just gave us some assurance and he just said, uh, uh, this is what Kevin Cruz said. He said, the go-to should be interesting in the mechanic, especially with the variety and larger green window. And then uh, czar just says, hey, some of these are, some of these are so cold, man. And the fact that you can branch in, uh, branch at 
many different points means that creative folks can build an entire set of offensive moves out of players uh go to shot so maybe somebody like myself like i don't have a lot of dribbling moves but maybe i can you know i'm a shooter shooter so maybe i'll be able to do something like that man maybe the corner boy corner boys hey throw you throw the corner up in the in the corner man put, put the fist up in the comment section if you're a corner boy like myself man but hey maybe we'll be able to do something besides just hand the ball back to the point guard every time but hey it is what it is man up next we got i keep messing the wrong button man y'all gotta rock with me man bear with me man hey uh he just said these go-to shots would be interesting mechanic uh, especially okay so that was we already had that right there mike next up said said this let's see if there's anything no, okay so it's not there it's just exactly what we see here q a will lethal zones be in nba 2k25 he says a resounding yes yes the design the design is a little more uh fun the design is a little bit more fun too instead of automatically working on two zones and uh you know and it lasts in a week there's three versions uh it's three versions of lethal zone so one week you get one zone, two weeks, two zone, three weeks, three zones. For the for the three weeks version, you face off against lethal shooters. So hey, man, maybe we're gonna be sh shooting the ball against lethal. Uh, we just know that he don't miss twice, man. He never missed twice. So if you miss twice, you probably already out of there, man. You know what I mean? I'm talking about. It's out. And up next, hey, Mike says, hey, as soon as he goes through moves, limited to only step backs and all this stuff. So we already we we already went through that one right there. Uh, you know, branch and combos and canceling and all that. This is another thing that he says. Somebody says, Appaluba, tired of anticipating Jamal Murray behind the back and not getting the bump. The ball hitting my leg something. So, he, he you know, we just want to bump the ball hitting your leg or something. And then uh, it wasn't a like bump steals are going to be OP. Uh, this is what this is what they saying from that lockdowns. When you touch, when you touch them, when you touch right near them, bro. I don't know why stuff is not loading on Twitter right now, man. But hey, you know, you know what I'm talking about. We coming out there with the Kawhi, cause I said so, Leonard, man. He ain't got them straight bikes either. Hey, but look, Mike says if you can anticipate those moves and bump the dribbler, he'll fumble the ball. The higher the delta between you and the defender, uh, ball handler the easier it will be so the higher the delta means like if you have if the delta is just a change in or the difference between two two uh two values so if he has 85 dribbling and you got 95 defense you'll probably get a better bump uh, about 95 perimeter if somebody got 70 and you bump them they got no chance man a lot of this happened in nba 2k 18 the only problem with that was so like in 18 you could force a lot of cutoffs and pickups the problem was if somebody had high ball handling and they were going to get cut off or picked up they would just pull it back and then you were just dead and they, they, then they get a free jump shot so this sounds like something that's going to be good it's just just don't know how it's going to be implemented up next mike says hey uh the question is have there been any Im improvements to the physics when two people clash in the air he said the physics the physics team spent a lot of time i can only imagine how difficult that is to to program something like that because the flight of the ball is already going to be difficult to program and, and and all of that like just things like that physically in a video game when you enumerate those 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 are already hard and then so you got one body flying and another body flying and they're on a collision course and then they crash the math involved in that has to be like insane but uh binary tell me if, if, if i'm right man but i digress uh, I, bro y'all we that's why i say like we got to cut the dare some slack sometimes this is what they do so you can't cut too much slack but man it's like just the just the math behind that like i can see it like the matrix it's it's like whew, that's got to be insane man but anyway they said the physics team spent a lot of time improving uh improving our player to player in air collisions to make them more reliable and maintain the players uh momentum and to maintain the player's momentum slash velocity better so i wonder if they're saying if, they're, if we're maintaining the player with the balls uh momentum and 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 movement uh velocity better or like if i'm jumping at you like that right there let's take that for for instance right here right like these have always been cool where 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 you you're running into the guy he's going up and i'm running into him those always been all right we talking about the ones where i'm already standing here and i'm jumping and they just let the dude dunk the ball through my face man like that's what we're talking about like will that be will those be uh be up to anything like that we don't know but we're gonna find out up next we got mike saying hey the question is which players which players do you control in the learn nba but we, we don't even care but i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro we, we is this the right but i think it's it don't matter who you control in, the, in, the, in my learn NBA, but he said there's three three levels, uh, you know, of the mini games, and you can choose the you can choose from players who are 
a good fit for what you're trying to practice. So it says you're automatically assigned to, to the player, player level one. And so that's going to be De'Aaron Fox for, you know, that's dribbling and all of that. And then, you know, too much, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that, bro. We know we do, bro. We do not care about that. I don't even know why I put that in there, man. Hey, right, but look though, this is something that we had to put in there. Somebody asked, Mike says, if you like, if you like playing 2K cam, uh, and, and Brute don't even play 2K cam. I like playing with 2K cam. I always play on 10-1, but hey, it is what it is. If you like playing with 2K cam, but but hate the change of of possession flip, I added a new camera you might like called uh 2K wire. Takes takes some getting used to on defense. Uh, on the defensive end of the floor, but it's my new go-to cam in pvp bro why but like the wire so is this is just not gonna flip or something like that am i gonna be omar out there or am i gonna be where's wireless am i gonna be wondering that stuff i don't know man like uh like he said but anyway uh so then he came up there. i think that's the chase money cam man but he just says uh it's sort of like the my player uh cam he said yes but less side to side swivel uh swivel movement uh it's similar to the to, to playing on 2k cam with the flip option disabled. So, I mean, that's what it is, man. That's, that's going to be cool right there. I don't know if I'm going to be playing with that because I need to play. Uh, I, I got to play defense from in front of the person. I can't be playing defense from behind myself, if that makes sense. But maybe I'm going to give it a try and see how it works, man. It might make good, make for some good videos and stuff like that. Up next, Mike says, hey, you can use the rhythm, the rhythm shooting dribble. Uh, you can use the rhythm shooting or on any shot. So you can use rhythm shooting on any shot. This is somebody that says it's rhythm shooting just for stationary shots. You can use rhythm shooting on any shot and learn NBA 2K. We explain it. Uh, we explain it as a down up motion, and that's something kind of like how it was with the with the uh, with the the centering of the of the uh, shot stick and all that. Uh, whatever direction you hold the right stick in to start your shot. Just move it again in the opposite direction. So if you go left, you got to go right. You, you, he, he's he going to tell us all of that. Uh, just move it to the, to the uh, option to make the rhythm shot. So if you go left to start the shot, you got to go right. If you go up, you got to go down. If you start down, you got to go up. I guess it's just like when you hold a, when you hold the stick, it's going to start the shot. And then you can do it like that, man. So, hey, we're going to see how that works, man. It might be something, something dope. Uh, something new. A lot of people probably gonna hate on it, but hey, it is what it is. Question: uh, Will you will you need post control attribute to score post phase? You don't need post control attribute for post phase. Post control is more for the moves. Uh, let me see. Post phase success is driven by your shot ratings, close and mid. But let me tell you something: You're not gonna get your shot off if you don't have some post control because the move won't get you open if that makes sense so like i always do those moves and for me man i just always get my shot blocked it's always like i i, I pop i jump or do something like that i try to get my j cobra on and the next thing you know it's just Shit out of here, nigga. Shit out of here, nigga. that's all you hear man because i just don't get a chance to get the shot off man and if i do i'm probably gonna miss it just because i didn't make a make enough it's not wide open but brute has high post control and he can do those same moves and he gets wide open on his shot so that's just something to keep in mind, to bear in mind. Trey Ball, yeah! So this is something to bear in mind, man. You don't need it to make the shot, but you will need it to get open because you're not making a contested shot, if that makes sense. Hey, how will hot zones affect shooting this year? Hot zones will still give you a small boost to all of your shot ratings. Like, that's just something that's going to happen, man. That's always been like that. It's always going to be like that. Get your hot zones. I, I be missing in the park. Like, you don't need your lethal zones in the wreck or whatever, but I haven't. I don't got my lethal zones, and I've been missing in the park, and I was wondering why, and I'm, I think that's the reason why, man, because I just got to get them joints, man. Another question for Mike. It was just, uh, what changes have been made to post defense? Post defense and hooks are now used a different set of con of contest logic than normal shots. The new logic better simulates how shooting out of the post in real life is and puts more and more on the make more of the make versus miss on the shooter shooter's ability to time to uh. A time to inherently more difficult shots. Defenders will still want to get a hand up, uh, get a hand up, or just a jump to contest to make it make it tougher. So, like I said, it used to be with the post the hooks, man. If you were not in position when they started the shots, you couldn't contest the shot. It was nothing that you could do. And now he's saying that they're updating the logic, so perhaps you'll be able to get a hand up. Like I said, it's going to be dynamic or what have you, but it's never really been dynamic. It's always been where you were when the shot started. Sometimes you could contest it afterwards, but you really had to jump and sell out for it. I don't know how I feel about them changing that too much, man. Also, man, y'all make sure y'all go to Breeze T, check out the new game shirt with the Infinity Gauntlet, man. Check this out, man. It joint's fine. But um, I think a lot of times that, that I don't know how that's going to impact it because 
because you don't want post scores to be completely useless, but you don't want them to be overpowered. And I can, I can only imagine that that's really tough to balance, especially with this community, man. Up next, Mike says, Hey, what shot time and profile is the closest to how shooting works in the NBA 2K24? I think that's a very good question because that's what we want to know. What's going to give us what we have now? And he said, shooting model for NBA 2K25 is pretty different than last year, so it's really hard to compare. If you, if you, if I had to pick, I'd probably say NBA 2K24 is somewhere between this year's normal and high profiles. And I would think so also, man, just because this year's green to make, it was harder to make jump shots this year than any other year and that's just where we at with it man up next hey we got that boy mike wong saying hey uh somebody this is a question can you can you go a little deeper on the bounce alley bro nobody cares bro. we do not care hey man nobody who cares about a bounce alley but hey it is what it is man so we gonna go we gonna go with this and this is what it says some players were some players were getting bounced alleys by accident. And you know, so we team bounce lob over here with me and my boy, me and my boy, um, uh, uh, dang, man, Hezzy, man. Hey, team bounce lob over here, man. Hey, Hezzy, I'm gonna be running with y'all this year, man. I wanna play on the Pro-Am team. Holler at your boy, man. Bird, you supposed to be got me in some of these leagues. Hey, man, it is what it is, man. Y'all boys hating on your boy, man. Hey, listen, but hey, some players were getting uh, bounce alleys uh, by accident. So in the NBA 2K25, the bounce alleys, uh, happen organically when you when you double tap wire triangle the lane is clearly open and uh the players involved are, are appropriate so it's automatic now it used to be you would hit y and b and uh i don't know how you really do that by accident i mean it, the, the amount that you would do it by accident is really not a whole lot so you know it, it is what it is man but it's uh, another reason Oh yeah, tray ball, bang. Another reason uh, we made the bounce alleys contextual was to free up the, uh, okay, to free up the AB uh, button. Was it AB or was it, I don't know what it was, uh, for for the self alley. Oh, I can throw them self alleys. So the AB is not a self alley, which some players were getting by accident when they were trying to pass to a team. Exactly. Sometimes I'll be on the break and I'm trying to throw that thing to Brute and it'll throw a self alley, man. So, hey, you can throw the self alley on purpose, man. That's going to be dope, man. Like, not, that's, that's just something that nobody really asked for. But, hey, I'm glad it's in the game, man. Last but not least, the question is, is there any penalty for playing off-ball defense? And he said there's no explicit penalty. This is this is for like uh, the the player control modes where you got you know the team control modes. But he says hey, there's no explicit penalty for playing off ball. But there are definitely definitely advantages to manually controlling the ball, uh, controlling the off ball defender. Using control defenders get a slight boost to their contest scores compared to the AI control teammate. Also, users can can take control of the uh, new new defensive cutoff mechanic to get more jam ups, fumbles uh, against the ball handling and all that good stuff, man. So he said the precision, the, per the percepts, perception delays. AI teammates also have perception delays. So based on their ratings, uh, they may they may not be as good as reactive. So a lot of people, you know what they do is they'll play off ball defense on on you and then just let the computer play you. If, I mean, if you, if you like, we know how to beat the computer every year though. So like that, that if you're not really used to playing the game, you might can, you know, get beat by off ball, but a lot of people don't get beat by off ball anymore because you they, they just know what to do. If you're a real novice, yeah, you're probably gonna have issues with it, but if you know how to play the game, bro, that don't really happen. That's all we got for y'all today though, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this joint. I think they're gonna be dropping some more news in about an hour or something, so we will be in that stream. If y'all want me to stream that stream, let me know, hit the like button. Uh, you know, do all that good stuff, man, and we'll just see how it go, man. But let me know what y'all think, because that boy Mike Wong been tweeting. I said that white boy, boy I'm in. <laughs> hey, and we love it, man, because that gives us content. And we're getting ready to, to lay into the content. We're going to be dropping everything, dropping that 2K heat every day of the week. And, uh, you know, we're going to get a stream for y'all today. I'm going to be trying to, I'm going to try to get out there with Big Boy Thunder, man, to get in that, uh, get in that, um, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, in the uh, stage and get beat to death. So I'm hey, look, man, you gotta get forged by fire, man. Like I said, hey, just like these muscles is forged by fire in, in, in the combat, in combat sports, uh, and not just the gym. Hey, same thing with me. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'll holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Gosh, please, gosh, please.